She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. The same curve. I always run over that. <laughs> My husband's B-Day, Salah. So here's the thing, Salah doesn't celebrate birthdays. Like he's really just not in, really into it. Yeah, he just, I, I remember him always saying that. Like I, I make a bigger deal out of it than him, but um, so we did, he didn't want to get a cake. I wanted to get a cake for him, but he's like, it might actually be like too tempting for you. I don't want to like get a big cake just for myself. Um, so, cause I wasn't going to have any of it anyways. So it's like pure sugar. So, um, no cake, no presents, no celebrations, just, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing for, for poor King Beezer here. No, he didn't want to go out to dinner. He didn't want to do anything. So he doesn't want to make a big deal. He doesn't even, he hasn't had dinner yet. I made him his favorite, favorite huge breakfast and that's kept him full up until now so i'm gonna do like an update video at some point like with a weigh-in and i'm gonna have salah like film the weigh-in but i weighed myself today anyways i didn't film it because like i was gonna get him to do it and just didn't happen so i just, I just want to know like for myself but i'll probably do it tomorrow film it maybe tomorrow i'm actually down like i well i don't know what the accurate reading on the street scale would have been but i think when we did the street scale i was in the 360s <laughs> maybe even higher i don't know but i'm 354 not 354. So it was 160. In the 160s, I'm 154 kilos now. That's good for a three-day diet. <laughs> Not really three days. I mean, since basically since like the day before travel day, like the day before travel day, I didn't eat. And then since then, I've just been on track. So it's been a little bit. And I did a lot of exercise, you know, so that's helped a bit anyways. But the first few kilos always come off. It's, you know, it's going down below. That's really hard. So, you know, have to log it on the scale before so, you know, it's accurate. That's I could do that totally, Buster, in the video. I definitely will. He's not in charge of anything. So basically what, for like, <laughs> I use the term control loosely, like, you know, mostly just like, basically I just show him everything I eat. Like I'm in charge of meal planning. I'm in charge of like, you know, planning my meals and I just show him basically. So I did some food prep today, prepped some salad and I, uh, um, some pita in the air fryer for some fatouche. Yeah. I saw a couple comments about it. Like it's DV or it's like, it's not DV. How is it DV if I don't like. I don't, I'm, I don't feel abused, you know, I'm not being abused or anything. I'm just, you know, there's different types of control in life. Not all of them. Uh, it's not domestic violence. I think that mislabeling it is really horrible for people to do, you know, as for people getting triggered by my content, I'm not responsible for your triggers. So that's something you should work on yourself. I didn't bake anything. No. So I didn't want anything. So he just wants to be supportive and not like tempt me with sweets and stuff like that. Like, you know, so because I was like looking through the diff I was looking through like the cakes and stuff what to get him and I was like I swear some of the stuff looks so good like hanafa cheesecake and pistachio cheesecake and he's like you know what <laughs> he had his hand around my my this area in a loving manner not in a bad way he was carrying my head I know because he's so you know because I gave up sweets on my birthday so Chantal will not crave them it's okay my wife's health is my priority besides yeah and he kept saying you're my gift you're my gift when I woke up today <laughs> I said what do you want for your gift I should have just maybe surprised him but like we do everything together it's hard to like surprise him you know like he i need him to drive me to the store to buy my gift <laughs> you know <laughs> a new gaming chair true maybe we're not doing anything we're just hanging out watching movies but not everyone celebrates birthdays like muslims typically don't celebrate their birthday i'm not saying all but generally it's like forbidden to in islam so no more mukbangs um if i do mukbangs like i'll do like food content like in regards to like you know, maybe just like if I have something I want to talk about and I want to eat dinner, like a healthy dinner with you guys that I made, you know, stuff like that. But I'm not like, I'm trying to eat healthier food, like real food, but I'm mostly just like, that's what I'm doing right now and focusing on not binge eating. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. No, I didn't cook anything. No gifts. <laughs> go, we, go dancing. There's no dancing clubs here. No, I don't even think, I honestly don't really care about my birthday anymore either. Like, I don't know. I don't think I'll celebrate this year, really, honestly. I don't really care either. I don't want to get older, so there's nothing to celebrate. <laughs> I'm not annoyed. I'm not annoyed, Monica, at all. What I'm not annoyed whatsoever. Yeah, a normal meal, I don't know. Like, a mukbang just means literally translates to social eating. So technically, it is a mukbang if you're eating on camera, like, on social media. But typically, a mukbang is, like, a larger display of food, you know? But I won't be doing that, that's for sure. Make his favorite dinner. I made him his favorite breakfast. <laughs> Chantal's my delicious cake. What?
Faye. Thanks, Faye. No, I'm not annoyed. And I totally, I know it's weird for you guys because birthdays, like I was saying that to someone, like you don't celebrate your birthday, you know? I don't think, he just doesn't get excited. I don't think it's like a Muslim reason for like, I don't, he just doesn't celebrate, that's all. But it is technically like, I just think culturally, like it's not as big of a deal as in like the West, basically, you know what I mean? So his favorite breakfast is um, cheesy eggs, pita bread, um, some other kinds of cheeses, uh, halloumi, like pan fried halloumi, olives. Um, you, if we have makdus, like that's the pickled eggplant, stuffed eggplant. Um, Pishta, which is like fresh sweet cream. What else did I give you? Planning and cooking three meals a day for yourself and then cleaning up after those meals and taking care of a home is like really challenging for me right now. And I'm just like in between like feeling a bit down at times, like thinking that like, you know, if I'm bored, like I try not to have just like laze around as much anymore because I just want to like, I think of like, okay, I'm like, you know, <laughs> hand to mouth. I only ate twice today, so I might, I don't know, like I'm still like allowed another small meal and a snack. So I don't know if, I don't feel like starving yet, but I'm kind of feeling a bit hungry, but it's been like a few hours since I've eaten anything. So I had a banana also. So like today I ate, for breakfast I had a toasted, I have multi-grain bread, some nice multi-grain bread. I had um, toasted tomato with like a few slices of cheese. By the way, when you don't binge on cheese, it lasts too long. <laughs> like any other, like I still am only halfway, like less than halfway down the block, first block of the sharp cheddar. So I just had a few slices of that on my toast and then I had a mango with that. And then, I had the salad I made with um, some of the rice and I had a banana. That's all I had today so far. Like what the heck? Things last a long, food lasts a long time when you eat it in moderation. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my chocolate is here. The first bar is gone, but this is the second bar. I don't know where my cat is. She's like not affectionate with me today that much. I don't know why. She has a new bag. Anyway, I got so excited because I got a new mop. Dude, <laughs> my floors are like pristine. Oh, because I was having trouble. Look at this cool mop. But yeah, like I was having trouble with my floor. I found that I was like, for some reason, like um, they're ceramic floors, okay? Um, I would wash them. Like I've noticed they would they were streaky. Like, you know, like almost greasy, streaky looking. And I couldn't, hi Vampira, hi, nice to see you. I couldn't figure out like what to do about it. So I re like, I researched it and you know, like I think I was using too much solution and then like too much water and the floors were too wet after. So I, what I did was I was drying them with a towel and drying them with a towel kind of polished it off and got rid of the streakiness. But with the microfiber mop, you don't have to worry about that. It just kind of, you know, it doesn't use too much water. Babe, do you want people to know your age? I think I already said before, but I feel like like speaking for him, I don't know. Any cool gifts for Salah? Just me. So I'm excited to clean clean with these. My floors are like really spotless right now and shiny and yeah, that makes me happy in life. <laughs> You're a lot. You're a lot. <laughs> I'm upset. Like, I think like maybe instead of like being upset, I feel like, I don't know, that's my problem. I always have to be obsessed with something. So I'm like, I really need to try to be obsessed with something healthy, maybe cleaning. No, I'm not gonna throw any food fits because I'm being very mindful of of these things, you know? Hey, YouTube lover. I'm being very mindful that 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 does happen when you're going through like a change like this. And it horrifies me to think of taking out on, on someone that I love. So I, I really, really, really don't wanna go there. Actually, if I'm being honest, the reason that the, the delay in the, um, hey, Pino Chocolat, is because the treadmill he was gonna buy, he noticed like kind of after that there's like a weight limit. And he's, he, we were like worried about that. So I don't know if we're going to get that one. We might get another one, but anyway, <clears throat> there's no treadmill downstairs. That's the thing where I would just use that, you know, but it's winter. So I kind of like want to go for walks in the winter when it's nice, take advantage of that. Not just be holed up, you know, walking on a treadmill. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what he's up to sometimes. Sometimes I'm not, you know, he just does his thing. So I'm not, we're not lying to you. No wrinkled wiener. No, not at all. <laughs> Goes on my debts. <laughs> no, I said like, we were kind of like discussing buying it. He was, we were just worried about buying it because of the weight limit, but he bought it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> he said he was like adamant he was going to when, when I was in Bangkok and, but then the weight limit. And then I guess, I don't know. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal because it's not that much more. I can't remember what the, what it is, the KG, but <clears throat> it'll get there soon. Don't worry. There's a lot of crap in there, you know? So like, it's probably like just one of those situations when I was in Bangkok where it's like, okay, I'm going to do this. And then, you know, never got around to it. There's no gym yet. Why are you guys so obsessed? When it does happen, are you gonna shut up or what? Like, why do you care so much? I don't get it. <laughs> no, they won't shut up about it, hun. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just ignore. That's crap. Whenever it happens, it happens, okay? I know it was made to seem that way, that it was like done and everything, but I think that he thought it would be, but it's not. So that's it, That's there's nothing more to it, you know? <clears throat> no, I wouldn't do inpatient care. Okay, how about we have some cheese crackers and a little bit of salad for my final meal? All right, so I opened a new pack of cheese today. Use them for breakfast. I still have the thing of halloum. Lumi. 
still have half a bag of matzah. Still have the whole other bag of matzah. Still have grape leaves. There's the cheese slices. Where's the rest of the halloumi? Oh, I think I cut it up. Oh, there's another. There's still some cheese slices from that one. Whole block of cheese. This block of cheese is half, about halfway done or so. Uh, oh, red onions smell up your entire. Uh, any other cheese here? Oh, this is the feta cheese mix. This is still un. Is this? Yeah, unopened. And then the big block of cheese here. So, just making a little. Uh, my last meal of the day, babe. We go to, we've been going to bed really late, so. See, just doing that in my kitchen, my back hurts. <laughs> like, that's not a good sign. I'm not in the best of shape, that's for sure. And I weighed myself today, but it was after breakfast and it was 154 point something kgs. Anime sucks. <laughs> I'm sad I don't have enough time to make and improve my fat first scaly fur. <laughs> what? How do I improve my time management? Thanks for the super chat and the weird message. <laughs> Anime sucks. I don't even know what you're into. I'm not going to judge, but I don't know what that means. But thank you for the super chat. He's gaming. No. He's in the other room hanging out. The trash lizard. I know you're a gamer too. That's why, but no cake. In support of me not being able to eat any. I don't know. Like, I don't, the thing is, I don't know if it's 10 kg exactly because the problem is the street scale who knows if it was accurate because it didn't fully stop but the numbers were always wavering between 164 165 so that's my guess and a lot of that was probably like water retention i think of all the sodium i was you know going live saying you're eating alone on salad so i don't care <clears throat> i already said at the beginning of the stream he's not celebrating his birthday <laughs> so who cares so king bees are you gonna be on camera tonight or no uh, i don't know <laughs> <laughs> There's a handsome man. What's up, guys? How are you doing? <laughs> nice. That's what people say. Just plays the same songs because he has to learn more. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing this at midnight. It's actually midnight and a half. No, it's not an Arab thing. It's a Muslim thing, Barbara. But some still, a lot still do. But I don't think, like, Salah really just ever celebrates his birthday, really. I have, like, one plate <laughs> that I use. <laughs> Dinner plates, not a serving platter. <laughs> uh, bye, guys.